Hi, I'm Sarasaja Subramanian and I will be talking about the Dictionary of Gardening. My work over the past few years has stemmed from the natural world and our relationships with it as humans, ranging from control and violence to care and intimacy. The Dictionary of Gardening is a series of etchings and prints compiling excerpts from various volumes of the Encyclopedia of Horticulture published in 1887 in London. The project started almost a year ago when I serendipitously found 8 out of 13 volumes of the old and worn out hardbound books in a large second hand book sale in Bangalore. A series of books I picked up only because the title sounded interesting and the content was in line with my larger interest in plants and in nature. Spending time with the books and going through the way in which the author had broken down and analysed the concepts around gardening, the book became something like an in-between, partially a do-it-yourself guide and partially a staunch encyclopedic study of the simple day-to-day -day act, just gardening as something most of us engage in in some small way or another in our lives. What I found most interesting and what I landed up using as my filter to select certain pages from the book was what the author focuses on, two things to be precise. In one section of the book, the author George Nicholson begins to teach the reader everything he or she know, needs to know about how to tend to plants, how to care for them, help them grow. Justifying himself at each step, the author explains that plants don't know how to grow within their limits and need to be guided to root correctly, grow straight and aesthetically and understand their optimum size and shape. These descriptions are interesting when seen as a parallel to Western structures around correctness, poise and aesthetics, where a young girl or boy are moulded in a certain way in society. That tendency, which has seeped into nearly all our ways of life in order to make us more cultured and gentrified, translates into this book of gardening and the aesthetics that comes with a well-controlled and tamed growth of nature. Parallelly, the dictionary moves into sections which address the fact that we must constantly save the plant, not only from its own lack of understanding of itself and its own limitations, but also from everything that would come and attempt to destroy it, positioning the plant as something that is helpless, a damsel in distress of sorts. Each frame in the series, 22 in total with some repetitions, is a page reproduced from one of these books with edits and alterations. Edits that bring to focus the instructional nature of the book, its language, and the relationships of violence and control that it points towards, reiterating our need for aesthetics and beauty.